One minute. Boot be gone. Ha! It's over. I just came back from the podiatrist and I no longer have to wear the boot. Thankfully, because I have way too many things going on. So, I am healed. Uh, he said, listen to the toe. So, I have to listen to my toe <laughs> to know what kind of shoes that I feel comfortable in. He said, take it easy on the kind of shoes that I'm wearing. So, I'm still going to hold off on wearing my cowboy boots, which is a shame because I do wear them a lot. Anyway, oh, and there's a drawing of a foot right here. I broke that bone right there three weeks ago, but it's healing really, really well after he reset it. So I'm doing good. It's a little sore. I did a lot of walking this weekend. We kind of had a, a little bit of a busy date weekend for my husband and I. Uh, we went to see PBR. If you don't know what that is, look it up. It's my favorite sport. We went to see that on Friday night, and unfortunately, I couldn't wear my cowboy boots. <laughs> the one time <laughs> that I should wear my cowboy boots, I didn't have my cowboy boots, but it was a lot of walking, so my toe was really sore because I had to wear that stupid boot. It's not pretty. Anyway, um, but I kind of surprised him with, with tickets to that. Um, it's, it's not an expensive event. It's a really nice event. So if PBR ever comes to your town or if you missed it this last weekend, it's, it's really cool to go see. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, and he surprised me and a friend with tickets to go see AJ Croce, which if any of you know, uh, AJ Croce is the son of Jim Croce. And a little bit of back history for me personally, is at the age of eight, I bought, I bought, I bought my very first LP, my very first vinyl. Um, this is back in the days of actual records and eight, eight tracks. <laughs> anyway, uh, I bought my very first one and it happened to be a Jim Croce album. And so I've just, as a kid, I loved him. Um, Again, if you don't know who Jim Croce is or AJ Croce, you should look that up too. <laughs> anyway, last minute, right before we left, this is what this has to do with art, <laughs> not just frivolous information. Um, I did have a little bit of regrets. So last minute, I decided um, to paint a portrait of Jim Croce to give to AJ Croce. It was a small venue, uh, if you're in Charleston, uh, it was at the Charleston uh, Music Hall, which is a small venue. We didn't have the best seats. We were up in the balcony, which was tough walking with that boot, but I don't have the boot anymore. I just threw it away. <laughs> um, but normally when we have went there, we, we have an opportunity to at least meet the members of the band and you know, it's not always, and I, and I totally get it, I totally understand. But an hour before we left, I told my husband, I'm gonna run up to my studio and I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint a portrait of Jim Croce and you know, give it to somebody to give to AJ and maybe have the opportunity to tell him my very first album as a kid was his dad. And I just thought it would be kind of a nice gesture. I'm sure there are other artists that do that too. They probably get bombarded with things like that, but I had never done that. And I thought, you know what? I just want to do something like that. And Jim Croce has really distinct uh, features. He's definitely, uh, he was definitely a person that you could do a caricature of. So I did a very simple portrait. Um, I'm gonna post a picture of it here in this video so you'll be able to see it. Very, very simple water-based mediums. Um, I did it on uh, hot press watercolor paper and then I matted it and put it in a plastic sleeve like I do for my clients whenever I do uh, pictures on paper. 
And so I took it to the concert. At the end of the concert, um, I hobbled down with my husband and my friend and we went down there. And like I said, any other time that we've been, you get a chance to kind of talk to some of the band members or at least somebody that would be out there that could take it back to him. And we were told, no, you can't, you can't come down here. Um, now, mind you, I preface this with the concert I loved. You know, it, he was great. It, I, I, I loved going to the concert, so this isn't any reflection on AJ or anything like that. But the guy that was shuffling us out um, worked for Charleston Music Hall. And he said, the, the manager is up at the, the um, merchandise, you know, stuff. I can't think of the word. Anyway, <laughs> he was up there. He says, uh, you know, give, give it to him. Uh, you know, he'll make sure, I'm sure he'll get it that way. So I was like, oh, okay. So we went back there and there was a line, but we just, you know, when, when there was kind of a, a little bit of a break, we were kind of back. We weren't in the line or even blocking anybody, but I just said to the manager right there, um, you know, I, I did this as a gift. It, and he took it out of my hand and he looked at it. I know this is not it, but this is the example of what I gave them in, you know, I'm mad at. He took it out of my hand and he went, okay. That was it. He threw it. He threw it. And then just, next. I was taken back by that. I'm like, okay, I did a free gift. If he didn't want it, that was one thing. But it was, I don't know, it was a true insult, especially since, well, if I'd have charged for that, <laughs> it wasn't an oil portrait, but I think it was pretty darn good, especially since <laughs> I did it, you know, in 20 minutes. And that's my, that's my thing. I'm thinking, okay, well, it only took me 20 minutes to do. I know I usually spend a lot more time on it, but I just put something really simple together that I just thought would kind of be a nice gesture. So it probably got tossed in the trash. <sighs> my pity party. So that's my regrets. I will never do that again, ever. But I guess it was just stupid. I was kind of humiliated and I'm sharing it with you. My husband was furious because he knows, he knows the work that I put into things, even though that didn't take me that much time. The reason it doesn't take me that much time is because I do them all the time now. You know, I do portraits, I do, you know, on a regular basis, every day I do some art. And so, you know, I've become pretty proficient at things and that was just a true insult. So, now I'm gonna let it go. But AJ, if you do see this in any fashion, I did do a gift for you. You may or may have never seen it. <laughs> so just letting you know. Anyway, um, so I hadn't thought of doing the Jim Croce portrait prior to yesterday, but I, have always wanted to do a portrait of Bob Marley. And there's a new Bob Marley uh, film coming out this month. And so I am going to be doing a portrait of Bob Marley. Um, I don't know, he's just always had an interesting face. And you know, there's some some famous people that you just, you just kind of have to do. <laughs> and he's just one of them. So since the film's coming out, I'm like, oh, now's my time. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna paint a a portrait of him. So keep your eyes open for that. I also wanted to kind of update you on the things that are going on for the month of February. Um, we are already into the 5th, um, but I am preparing for a mural on King Street in downtown Charleston. It starts in approximately two weeks. Uh, depends upon construction because they are in the process of remodeling it and getting it ready to um, make a boutique out of it. Um, it's it's quite a nice location. Uh, if you're in Charleston or in the Charleston area, you know King Street, so you know what I'm talking about. Um, 
I mean, movies are filmed on King Street, so it's a, it's a nice spot. It's like prime location for any retail in Charleston. Uh, if you're not from Charleston, look it up. King Street's quite famous. And uh, so you may have seen this painting that I did. Um, you can see it. So it's a painting of Rainbow Row. This was actually the concept painting for the mural. So this is what I'm going to be painting. Uh, it will be a 10 by 12 or 10 and a half by 12 um, mural. Uh, it'll be painting painted on the rooftop. Actually, they have a location up there. I'm not quite sure because I know what the business is. I don't want to name it. It is a retail location, um, but I think they're putting like a bar um, place to kind of come and sit and hang out. And that's where it's going to be located is up there. So I'm excited about that and so glad to get the boot off because I was kind of concerned about that. I thought today after going to the doctor, he was going to tell me, no, two more weeks. And I'm like, Talk about last minute, but I'll be fine for doing the mural. And it's not because it's, it, it's, you know, 10 feet high. I, I'll be getting up a little bit, but it's not like I'm going to be like in the past, you know, having to be on, I've been on lifts before and I, you know, scaffold and stuff like that. I'm not going to have to be on anything major, maybe one bucket scaffold, but that's not going to be that big of a deal. I'm also getting ready. Um, and many of you know that I, I own a, a paint party company that I had put together um, called Mona Lisa's Remorse and I'm doing a corporate event on March 1st. So I'm excited about that. Um, my uh, paint party events have evolved and include costumes and trivia. So this is an interesting event, but um, it is a private event, but it's a large event. So I'm excited to be doing that. Uh, today, I'm just going to be working on some portraits. I've got a few things to ship out. So that just shows you how busy an artist's life can actually be. It's like I got to keep things straight. So I try really hard to make sure I put my list down and, you know, I, 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 otherwise I can't remember all the things. And I do have quite a few portraits that are due this week. Um, they're small. So I'm not overwhelmed by that. And I've also got some digital art that I'm working on, including a logo for a small business, small local business. But anyway, I just wanted to update everybody and, and let you know I'm doing great. I feel great. My foot's great. Um, got work. So good to go. <laughs> Hope you all are doing really well too. And um, you know, just hang in there. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I'm an artist. I'm, it's not the words. It's my brush. So I communicate better that way. Foot. Foot. Dog. Ball. Hand. <laughs> Rainbow room. Oh, prints are available of this if you're interested. Um, not the original, but the prints are available. So, all right, y'all have a great rest of your week and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye. Want to find